looking the other up into Avon Rice. I don't think he's quite getting there. In fact, he's having a very late look on the inside into Corey Corner. And they're still side by side as they come into your view. Ian. Yeah, absolutely. Alongside one another here. That's quite a good look. Let's take it out Corey. And down towards the end. Eric on the inside line. It's Hamilton on the outside line and Ellick gets the move done, he seals it at the Essie, so off the third place he goes. He's now getting on for three seconds behind the two race leaders, so he's got his work cut out for the remaining seven and a bit minutes of this race to try and catch them. So I'm sure Hamilton will be uh, doing his best not to let him get away as well. It's uh, Hill though, he's still going very quickly, eating into the gap of both of those cars ahead of him. As round back down the inside at Tower goes the red car of Howlison to retake third place from Ellick. It looked like uh, Ellick went a bit deep in there and Howlison was able to get the undercut and go back into third place. And that's now brought him into things as well. Wow, so yeah, we see the lead two coming down towards us, slightly spread out this time. And I tell you one thing, he's not going to like the sight of his up second place car of Walsh is that, well it's just disappeared now, he was given a black and white warning flag, so second place Walsh needs to be careful, just got a five second penalty for the 47 car, that's the pole sitter, Ellick, so he's sat there in fourth all over the back of, of Hill at the moment, but he's not going to be there because he's going to be getting a five second penalty, he's been warned about presumably track limits, he's still all over the back of the number two car of Allison through Quarry Corner, he just needs to make sure that he's five seconds ahead of the other on the road at least is Alec as they come down to the S's this time. The lead gap's not quite as small as it was on the previous lap, certainly. Coldball that time through did the best, well his personal best lap of the race. Six car of Walsh. 